Hey, so these are questions that I got last week, six questions I got, and then two questions I had for others. And this, we might do this for a few weeks, we'll see how it goes, these uh, Q and A's. So the first question is, how much light do we give our lettuce? Artificial light. Um, between September 11 and March 1, we give the plants eight hours of darkness, and we don't run the lights when the sun is out. But other than that, we're running them. We have 300 watt lights on 12 by 12 spacing. On either side of that, so fall and spring, if the lettuce is small, we need a little more lettuce, we'll run them more. If it's a cloudy day and, and we, need, we need more product, we will run the lights. If you're seeing tip burn in your bib underneath your lights, that might be a, a sign that you have, you've given it too much light. The plant is basically outgrowing the rate it can um, uptake nutrients, very similar to humidity, so that it can be confused with humidity uh, for sure in spring. So how much do we run our shade cloth is another question. So we want as much light as we can get in this place as we can year round. And we're, we're at a pretty northern place here in Wyoming. So we use the shade to control temperature. So when it gets to 75.5, 77.5 degrees, we close at 30%. 78.7 degrees, we close it to 60%. And then at 81 degrees, we close it almost all the way. We leave it, we leave just a little gap so it doesn't get as hot above the shade cloth. And I learned this from Jason. It just seems like the whole place cools better when it's not, you know, way, way over 100 degrees above that shade cloth. What plug tray do we use? Profile products. Profile Products is a Canadian company. This is the 100% peat. Um, we're in the minority using the 100% peat. A lot of people like the 50% peat, 50% cocoa fiber, but this one works for us. Next question, do we use liquid fertilizers? No, we don't. Um, you're often paying the company to ship water to you. It's a lot more economical to get the dry ones. Uh, what state do we live in? Uh, Wyoming. Arugula, how, what trays do we grow our arugula on? Uh, we use this 36 hole raft, gives us the best yield per square foot per week. And then what what trays does your drop seeder fit? So they were uh, referencing our drop seeder that we make and sell. Uh, there will be a link in the description. Uh, it is pretty much one foot by two foot. Um, there is a lot of uh, trays in the in Europe that it doesn't fit. So, But any American 1020 tray, um, you're gonna be good to go. And then do we do custom trays? Absolutely. Uh, we can pattern these holes uh, however you want. And so these are questions I had for other people. I wanted to know mobile versus immobile nutrients. So the mobile nutrients in a plant, the nutrients that can move around are nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, molybdenum, and chlorine is somewhat mobile. And then the immobile nutrients are calcium, boron, iron, manganese, copper, zinc, sulfur, and sulfur has low mobility, and nickel is li limited mobility. So why is this important? The nutrients that can move around, you'll see the deficiency first in the older leaves because the new growth, the plant will be sending these nutrients up to the new growth. Whereas if it's an immobile nutrient, you'll see the deficiency first in the new growth because that, that nutrient is locked in the in the old growth. So that's, I wanted to know for, for a deficiency. The basil here was a little bit yellow. I wanted to know if it was iron or magnesium. So which one was it? So if it's on the top leaves or the bottom leaves, you can tell what's going on. Then the second question I had was, uh, what levels of chlorine are acceptable in your water? And so the guy I was talking to was from Amhydro. He said less than 50 is ideal, but people have grown beautiful product up at around 75. So ideally below 50 but there is some wiggle room on that and please check out our website greenies.us uh, we have a lot of awesome products like our air cone to increase our dissolved oxygen uh, our drop seeder um, a lot of great products that we've developed for this industry so go check that out thank you